All right. I don't know what that upload gap was, but ignore that. I don't know why I wasn't uploading. Um, yeah, but so I made a code three fire alarm system. It actually does code three and it isn't March time like my other ones. And if you want to see the circuit, what I'm going to post another video today. But if you want to see the circuit, um, go watch the video I might post like a few hours after this one or be a day. But I might be posting on Monday because there's no school on Monday. But so we're gonna we're gonna start with the the this pulse session. There's only two, but we're you're gonna hear code three. So. <laughs> Sometimes it glitches when you pull the alarm two times, but, um... Ignore that. Um, so we have a bell, fire bell here, and then in the hallway we have a, just a bell, no strobe or anything. And then we have a bell strobe in here, and then we have a note strobe. Yeah. This is really the only mechanical, I mean the only electrical one in here because these, the, a bell is mechanical, not electrical, but the, the strobe is electrical. Anyway, I'm gonna go sit off the hallway pool. system in this building when you see that flashing light. I don't even know, think anything of it until you get near the building. It also does not need another code of another round of code three for stopping when you reset it. But no tutorials, nothing, not nothing. I just, just, I just got an idea into my brain, and then I decided to repeat it on here, and then it worked. So, time. The video is kind of short, so this is where I'm gonna show the internal workings. It is not just behind the panel wall. This is how it works. Yeah, this looks complicated. I'm gonna light up the place with some lanterns. Yet again, I don't, I'm gonna break this right after I'm done showing you, but I don't want light coming out of the bells. 
So as you can see, there's a bunch of mumbo jumbo redstone here. This is for so any future signals get blocked. It stops the redstone clock from locking up. And I have no idea. This is for the pole station. And the mandatory for the thing to work. You have to always have this, the pole station connected to that piston. You just don't want the piston being activated by the clock. And this, and just to know the difference, this is the bell right here. And this is, yeah, this is a bell right here. If it, if it just looks like a strobe, it's just, it's a bell. Anyway. I cannot put a block behind this. I am upset. I'm upset about that. I don't know why. Uh, I think I can do that. But, um, anyway. That, yeah. Don't put any powerable blocks near the pole station, otherwise they'll be lit up over and over again. I don't know why I put this. What, what, what was the purpose of putting this here? I don't see a purpose. Nothing happened. It literally did nothing. I'm gonna guarantee you that the system still goes off. It is not. That, that wall was literally had nothing to do with the system. I don't even know why that was there. Well, you guess, it's code three still working. Only pull one pull station at a time. Don't pull two. Otherwise, your system is going to start doing code 600 instead of code 3. But, um, yeah, it's going to go. So, I'm going to show you how this works. So, it all starts in the pull station, obviously. At, or at the panel. But. So, when you pull it, this piston extends. And then it stops the signal, but literally right before the piston covers the redstone, it gets through to the redstone clock, and then it starts doing the code three pattern. So each time you see this little corner, it goes bing, bing, bing. No, it goes bing, bing, bing. And then this has nothing to do with anything. And then it goes bing, bing, bing again, and then... And then this is for this bell alarm. Um, and if you want a copy, sure. Um, I don't care. But set all of these to one tick. I, I'm not lying. Set all of them to one tick. It will help you. Because so, earlier, it was literally like it was going bang, bang. Bing! I do not like that. I do not like code two. Two, and it doesn't even exist. But um, wow! Look at all this mumbo jumbo here. How many this block? No, I I'm not doing that. That block is necessary. It, it requires a lot of blocking redstone for it to work. Otherwise, it's gonna lock up the clock. But, yeah, that's it for this video. I just like to share my system with you guys. I'm proud of myself. If you want, if you feel free to hate, I actually don't want you to, but okay. I'm going to put tinted glass in front of that one horn stroke because I am not horn stroke in front of that one thing because I'm tired of that. I'm putting tinted glass here. That's how it goes. Okay, now this looks better. Now I'm gonna put this. This is the same exact design as my other thing, which is not, which is not at middle school anymore. It's just random stuff. But um, I'm gonna go remove those blocks inside of the panel, inside of the panel, and the panel on this thing is huge, it's not just the wall, 
and if you didn't, if you never looked at the inner workings, you would never know it would have all this behind it. You just think, how do two levers in a note block work? But I'm gonna break these blocks now, and as soon as I break, I mean, well, as soon as I get back in front of the building, I'll do the outro, and then that'll be in the end of the video, like always. Goodbye. Um, feel free to share your ideas for this system. Feel free to not hate. Um, if you want to hate. Then go to, then go, if you have nothing nice to say, then don't say it, okay? There, I don't like hate. If you didn't know, I don't like hate. It actually makes me feel bad. If you hate on me, I'm just going to delete your comment and block you from the channel. So that's a warning. Bye.